Hi, and welcome back to Switch and Lever. Electronics sure are awesome, and if you mistreat them, they fail even more awesomely. I'm not talking about devices which fail to function because one little part fails in its ever so important task, but rather when you accidentally, or not so accidentally, pump in far more power than these parts were designed to take. But enough talking, let's get to it. For the purpose of scientific inquiry, I'm maxing out my power supply at 30 volts and 3 amps, allowing the parts to take whatever they want from that. All the parts in this video are rated for a lot less than that, so let's see what happens. Let's start off light, no pun intended, and overstimulate an LED. 30 volts should be quite the spectacle. Okay, no it wasn't. Moving on. Capacitors are used to store a charge, kind of like a very temporary battery. So naturally, the more you charge them, the better, right? And that's the kind of failure you'd be lucky to see. It could be a lot worse. Wow! Let's see that again! For you Star Trek fans, resistance is futile, but so is smoke and fire. Sorry, what was that? Oh yeah! 555 timers are certainly not immune to high power applications either. To quote Rico, my favorite animated penguin, KABOOM! Wow, at least now we get a bit of a view of the chip that's under all that resin. And now for the piece de resistance, a naughty Arduino Uno needing punishment. Feeding more power than what the Arduino is rated for blows up the voltage regulator first, as can be expected. It didn't just blow it up though, it's actually boiling. Don't breathe that magic smoke. How about a lot of power across several pins of the Atmega 328 chip? Yep, that's another boiling chip. But hey, why stop there? Let's probe other parts of the Arduino and see what fun can be had. There goes the FTDI chip. This thing won't ever communicate over USB again. And it melted the probe as well. Neat. What else can we destroy, I wonder? Oh, there goes the inductor. Now, don't get too irate or shed too many tears. This specific Arduino had malfunctioned beyond repair before it was destroyed. You cannot kill a dead thing, but you can use it as an example to all of its kin not to misbehave. To prove everything doesn't fail spectacularly, this photocell light sensor did absolutely nothing, no matter what I put it through. Kind of disappointing. That's enough fun for this time. If you would like to see something more constructive, why don't you check out some of the other videos from Switch and Lever. And while you're at it, follow Switch and Lever on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks for watching! Until next time!